A bullet that helped put a Chillicothe man in prison could be what keeps him out of prison again. Today, a Platt judge, a Platt County judge, ruled ballistic evidence against Mark Woodworth can no longer be used if he is once again tried for a murder from 22 years ago. Mitch Weber just got back from Chillicothe where he spoke exclusively with Woodworth, Woodworth about his new twist in the case. Krista, the Woodworth family is not celebrating just yet. His attorney believes, though, this one ruling could keep her client from a third trial in this murder case that cost Woodworth almost 17 years of prison, of freedom. Mark Woodworth's release six weeks ago didn't end this almost 23 year murder case. Great feeling to be, you know, finally out. So. Two trials, two convictions for the murder of Kathy Robertson in 1990. Both times the prosecution used ballistics evidence linking a bullet removed from Kathy's husband, Lindell, who survived the attack, to a gun owned by Woodworth's father. Earlier this year, the Missouri Supreme Court overturned both convictions over certain details in the case, including how the bullet evidence was improperly handled. A judge on Monday barred the evidence from ever being used in court again. I'm pumped up. I mean, it's great. You know, it's, you know, it's been a great, it's a great victory. Today is the beginning of undoing the travesty. Michelle Puckett is one of the two attorneys who represent Woodworth. She believes the ruling will more than likely stop the prosecution from trying Woodworth for a third time. Based on their own internal memos, it was the only evidence that they had that would implicate Mark, and thin at best. Yeah, the first few years I was angry, but, you know, no, I've got over that. Woodworth now spends his days remodeling the same house he was living in when he was first convicted. His hope is the ruling is the beginning of the end. It's an awesome feeling to know you got people behind you, so, and believing in you. I tried several times to reach out to the Robertson family about today's ruling. My calls were not returned. Mitch Weber, 41 Action News.